All right, buddy, in this next video, we're going to pull up that four view again, and we're going to break down the very specific things that you've done to improve as a hitter. And so once again, we're going to put your very first swing from back in April up in the upper left-hand corner. We'll put your most recent swing in the upper right-hand corner. We'll put Ken Griffey Jr. in the lower right-hand corner and Miguel Cabrera in the lower left-hand corner. And we're going to break down some things piece by piece that you're doing as a hitter to make yourself more efficient. And so the first thing we're going to look at is how you do a better job getting to a good athletic position at the end of your stride. And so we'll see here with the lower hand, with the pros, we'll watch Miguel Cabrera. We'll see him in his stance. He's nice and relaxed. We'll see him right here with his load. And now he's going to take his stride to get into that athletic hitting position. And there he is in his athletic hitting position. And we'll do the same thing with Ken Griffey Jr. Here's his load, stride, athletic hitting position. And we're going to take your first swing back in April into that spot. And there's where you were at with your athletic hitting position there. And now we'll look at the most recent swing. Here's your load stride and there's your athletic hitting position now let's just begin first of all with the head because I, I really think the head's a very important part of the swing and if you look with the two pro hitters you're going to notice that their eyes are in the action in other words their eyes are out in front of their belly button and they're on the pitch locked in you can see that with both hitters now, if we look at your old swing, one of the things you're going to notice is that your eyes aren't as much in the pitch. Instead, that line from the eyes to the belly button is like a straight line as opposed to these backward lines here with the pros. And so your head wasn't really in the action before. And as a result, you're not going to be as powerful and as efficient and as aggressive of a hitter. But on the upper right-hand side in your athletic hitting position, you're going to see that you do a much better job. And you look way more like those pro hitters. You can see that line. Your head is really in the action there. And that's super exciting to me because, in my opinion, and I think anybody's opinion, you look like a totally different hitter with your athletic position. So that's fantastic. And the second thing we're going to look at here is where your bat is at in relationship to the hitting zone. So we know the ball is going to be working on a path this way right here. So the closer the barrel of the bat is to that hitting zone, the quicker we're going to get it there. So you see Cabrera here where the barrel of the bat's close to his head in this position. You'll see Ken Griffey Jr. in that same position. And you'll see you too. And the new one in a much better position, whereas before, we can't even see the barrel of the bat because it's wrapped behind your head. The next thing we're going to look at is the back elbow. If we look at our pro hitters, you can see that back elbow is loaded. In your old swing, you can see your back elbow is drifted all the way down here. But in your new swing, you can see you do a much better job loading your back elbow. So three huge improvements so far at this athletic hitting position. One, your head. Two, the barrel of the bat. And three, the elbow. And that's just phenomenal stuff. It's really exciting to me to see a young hitter like you make that much progress in, sh in such a short period of time. Now the last thing we're going to look at is what your balance looks like in this athletic position. And you're going to see with our professional hitters, you can see that their shoulders are turned slightly inward towards home plate. And we can draw a straight line from knee to knee. So both knees are equally bent. See the same thing here with Ken Griffey Jr. As you see with Miguel Cabrera. Now in your old swing, you can see that your shoulders are uphill. And so you're out of balance. It gets, you can see that your knees and your hips are uphill as well. So you didn't really have an, a balanced athletic position when you were ready to swing the bat. But in your new one, you can see that there's a straight line from both knees, so they're equally bent. 
and you can see there's a slight turn in your shoulders towards home plate. And you got to be super excited about the type of hitter you look like right here compared to that. You can see you look much more like the professional hitters on the bottom. So you're one step closer to being that fantastic hitter that you want to be. In the next video, we'll, we'll break down some more parts of your swing, but I just wanted to start with the athletic position because it looks great. 